welcome back to my youtube channel so i am super excited this morning because i'll be filming a makeup look um i have something in mind so i hope it comes out the way that i see it in my mind but i don't know we'll see what happens so my brows i did off camera just so that i could get that out of the way so let's get going so i'm going to be starting off by using the glam glow volcasmic matte glow moisturizer and i absolutely love this moisturizer like i feel like it just makes my skin feel well apart from feel small so so great so i'm just gonna put this all over my face so now that that is done i am going to start off with my eyes and then move to the rest of my face Okay, so because I filled in my brows, I'm going to clean up my brows and also add like a concealer as a base. So I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, this is in the shade Light Medium Honey. But to be honest, this is a couple, like I think it's like two shades too light for me. But you know, like in South Africa, we don't have, we don't have Tarte. And because I kind of matched it like online, I matched wrong. But you know what, like, your girl's got to make this shit work because I don't have the money to <laughs> to waste on not making it work. So I just blend it all over the lid. Then I'll go into the Tarte Shape Tape again and just clean up my brows. So why I like the Shape Tape is because it's quite thick. Like the formula is quite thick. So it really gives amazing coverage. Also, it's able to like properly clean your brows because of the like how thick the actual concealer is so as you can see i kind of just outlined the bottom i shaped it to the shape that i wanted i neatened it up and then i just bring it down then i'm gonna do the other brow so i just um completed the whole concealer on my eyes and i put a little bit underneath my eyes as well um, and then I just do some powder just to tap on top of the lid just so that like when I do my eyeshadow blending now It's not like wet. the concealer isn't wet. So when the powder from the eyeshadow goes on, it'll go on nicely I'll be doing the eyeshadow now um, Right now as you can see I look super ghosty um, But it's all a process guys like don't be don't be too afraid at the beginning when you kind of look weird so I'm going to be using the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. How beautiful are the colors in here. So I'm going to start out by using the shade over here. And I'm just going to put it here by my crease and blend it in. And I'm going to take it all the way up and blend it. I'm using the MAC 224 brush. I absolutely love this MAC 224 brush for um, blending out. I'm going to be doing circular motions and just going around and around and around. It's actually so strange because I'm always painting my face and I'm always like doing makeup for my face and then I remove my makeup like a right afterwards. So some people say it's a waste, I say it's like therapy for me. As you can see I did both of my eyes and I blended it just a little bit below my brow. Now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe 35B. So I'm going to be using this color over here. So I'm just putting it all the way. Like over my whole bit. So I'm just gonna blend it so that it's not like that harsh, like that color and this color. So I did this eye, I'm gonna do this eye now. So now I am using the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette, and I'm going to be going in with this red color called Saffron. Saffron's actually a spice, isn't it? I think so, yeah. I think my mom uses saffron in the kitchen. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing that over here. And then I'm just going to be bringing it out. Saffron's more of a red colour. But we're going to go with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape again. And I'm going to use this just to cut out a little bit of a crease. I like to use like a really like precise brush. So this is like a nice small brush. And I can get in there so... So when you're doing this, you have to make sure that your cut crease goes like above 
your actual end of your, your eyeball. So it's like a bit higher. So that you kind of also see it when you like open up your eyes. So normally like what you can do is you can like take the concealer. You can put it like on your eye like this. And then look up. And then you can kind of see it'll stop somewhere. And that's where you end your cut crease. So I'm just gonna stop it over there. And then I'm gonna bring the concealer all the way that way. Stop it halfway. So I'm gonna go in with that next palette again, use some of this pink where the concealer stops. I'm gonna blend it over there. And I'm just gonna actually blend this like inwards. But I'm not gonna blend it like all the way up inwards. I'm just gonna blend it like, from the middle inwards. So normally for um, for me, my eyes takes the longest. But anyway, we're almost there. I'm using the NYX lingerie, the lid lingerie. It's a matte one and it's white. And I'm just gonna use that to just define the cut crease a bit more. So this is basically like my top part of my lid done. I absolutely love the whole white part of it. It kind of intensifies the eye. Um, so now I'm just gonna clean up this by using concealer. So I'm gonna take an angled brush because it's easier to kind of just get in there. And then I'm just gonna clean it up like that. Okay, so now that um, the top part of my eye is done, I'm going to do the rest of the face and then continue the eye after it. So I'm using the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. I got it like yesterday and I've heard great things about it. Um, it retails for I think $175 or $180 um, in the skim stores. It actually looks way darker for my skin in the bottle, but then when you actually put it on your skin, it looks like proper. And for the price, like I'm super happy with it. Put this in as you can see like blends in perfectly with my neck my face is a bit lighter than the rest of my body so i think it's because i wear makeup so much <laughs> it's like a, a layer of protection from the sun i'm gonna contour now like dark contour so i'm just gonna use some of the la gopro conceal concealer this is in chestnut and i'm going to put a little bit there and I'm just blending out here. And then I'm gonna use the light concealer. Can, oh, the light concealer is in creamy beige for my skin. I'm just gonna put that underneath the contour. Looks like here. So I'm gonna blend this out now. Just so that there's no harsh line. And then I'm just going to intensify this contour by putting um, some powder on. I'm just gonna... This is MAC Dark Blood Powder. So I'm going to use this dark powder just to do my nose contour. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to be going in with my powder just sitting underneath my eyes. I'm using the Laura Mercia powder. And I'm just gonna let it sit here for a bit. Now I'm using the NYX or NYX Epic Ink Liner. So I'm going to be using this next palette again and then putting some color on my lash line. So now I'm using the Bad Girl Bang mascara from Benefit Cosmetics. I'm going to wear some false lashes though so it's not like I'm only relying on my natural lashes. Because my natural lashes are so, so, are so short. I'm going to use the NYX Jumbo Pencil. 
Now for the lashes. So I'm going to use the Ilio one for three lashes. Got them at Diskim. They're super like, like nice. Like They look like they're 3D lashes. This is how it looks in the package. So before I do that, I want to add some glitter from my Billion Girl palette. Um, I want some silver glitter. I'm now going to add my lashes. Okay, so my lashes are on, my eyes are done. Now I'm gonna put on some blush. I'm gonna use the NYX Duo Chromatic. I love the pink like little tint that it has. These Duo Chromatics are actually so underrated. Then I'm gonna add some highlighter. I'm gonna be using the Nicole Correra from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, this one and this one. Do -do 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 -do. I just put that highlight everywhere, baby. So I'm using the metallic liquid lipstick from Smashbox in So Jelly. And woo, this is super pink. Okay, let me calm down. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of a matte color on. So I'm not gonna use that completely. I'm gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills lip kit. I'm gonna use this color over here. I'm going to add a little bit of this lipstick. And then I'm going to be putting some stars all over my face. So Benefit gave me this pretty stuff like with the Bad Girl Bang mascara in it. And there's like a whole lot of Thaco stars in it. So I'm just going to use it on my face because it's cute. This is my completed look. But starry eyed, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm quite happy with it. I was just feeling like throwing stars on my face, and that's what I did. If you like this video, please subscribe, please like, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Bye!